Veterans reentering civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Monta Williams. Welcome to this special edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, we're traveling to South Carolina to visit North America's largest steel producer and recycler, an industry leader dedicated to helping America grow stronger. With innovative technology, advanced teamwork, and a dedication to recycling, Nucor prides itself in forging a way for veterans to be part of something bigger, and we couldn't agree more. Nucor is a lot of things, and it's been part of my life now for 26 years. It's a collection of 31,000 individuals that make up an incredible family that we call Nucor. So while we make many of the steel products and, and things that are used each and every day in our lives, it's a uh, it's home. Being a member of the team here, it's it's. It's almost the same as being in the military. Um, besides, you know, the collateral damage of, of planning a mission, I mean, everything's the same. You move around, you go where you're needed, uh, you depend on each other to complete that mission. Um, you do your part to make sure the team is successful. And when they're not successful, you regroup and you figure out as a team, what did we do wrong and what should we do better next time? I mean, every, everything besides that part, I mean, it translates exactly to new course as far as, far as I'm concerned. There's actually a, a pretty big military community in Nucor. Different plants, of course, because of the number of teammates that are there at each plant, of course, are gonna have different number of teammates. Um, but, I mean, we're, we heavily recruit the Navy nukes because of their technical background. Uh, Nucor also has a JMO program for junior military officers separating for the leadership training and skills that they've got. Uh, and then for, for everybody else, it's the same thing. It's about teamwork, camaraderie, um, knowing your self-worth, knowing how you fit into the mission of Nucor. It's, it, it translates very well. I've recently moved to our urban plant in New York, and there's something that's very special there. It's called the Nucor House. It's for veterans that are struggling, making the transition. Nucor House, it's specifically there to help them get back on their feet and get back into society. We're the largest recycler of any material, any products. So we're recycling roughly 30 million tons of steel each and every year that we remelt into the cars and buildings of tomorrow. Those that are part of it and those yet to join to be able to find a place that values the things that we hold very dear. And we take an awful lot of pride in what we call the new core culture, but it is a collection of team members that make up an incredible family. We cover a broad array from military use to energy to agriculture to automotive and everything in between and very heavily involved in the construction. So all the buildings and stadiums and infrastructure build out, the digital and green economies you're seeing be built, Nucor has a hand in each and every one of that and underpinning each of those things that we um, have the opportunity to share with our customers is one of the cleanest steels found anywhere in the world. Our new mission is pretty simple, it's eight words. It's grow the core, expand beyond, and then live our culture. The strength of new core lies not only in their impressive teammates, but the bonds that they share. Next, we'll meet a powerful duo who not only work together, they serve together. Sales Service Supervisor at Volcraft, South Carolina. 
Largely what that means is we have a team of project managers that works very closely with our customers as they work through the construction on, on buildings. We provide the, the joist and deck for those buildings and, and so it's just kind of synchronizing what we produce with, with what they need um, and so I help lead that team. I am a sales representative. I think our customers choose us over our competitors because of the level of customer service we provide them from beginning to end. We have customers who will only buy from us just because of the representatives they've been working with for years or decades. There's just this loyalty I've never seen before with them. I served in the United States Army for a little over eight years. I got out right after company command time. Uh, I was an Army engineer and I was uh, airborne during the entire time, so um, Army engineer is a little bit different than what everybody else thinks of you know, engineering and what we do here. Uh, it's, it's a lot about either kind of building stuff to keep people safe or knocking other people's stuff down. <laughs> When I was in the military, I was an Army Engineer Officer. I served for about seven years, and I was stationed in uh, Fort Richardson, Alaska, and Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, where I got out. Serving for my country is an honor. My entire family has served. My grandfather served in the Army. My dad was in the Marines, and my older brother is still in the Army. It's just, it's in my family, so it was a no-brainer for me to join. It was just a matter of what I wanted to do. I think the coolest, most life-changing experience I had in Alaska was finding and meeting and marrying my husband. While I was in Alaska, um, actually my wife and I served together, that's how we met. The VFW in that area was, was absolutely phenomenal. It looked like this, um, like a hunting lodge type cabin, um, very cool place. And so I had wanted to, you know, just go hang out with some army friends at the VFW for, for the evening. And, and I was just trying to find somebody to go with me. And he just shot me a text randomly one night when I was on the couch watching TV with my roommate. And he was like, hey, you want to get a few drinks at the VFW? And so we hung out and uh, absolutely hooked at that point. Um, started dating shortly after that. And she actually ended up being the reason that I decided to, to get out of the army. We were. I was about five years ahead of her in my career, and I was at a point where I could get out, and she was pretty new in hers, and she was not at a point where, where she could. So I knew I wanted to start a, a life with her. I knew I wanted to marry her, and so it was, it was honestly one of the easy decisions I've ever made. He, that was obviously life-changing. You find, you find your spouse, and it, they change your life, and he, he changed my life in the best way. Transitioning back into, you know, back into working. There's several different organizations that work with veterans to help them kind of figure out what that next piece of life is. And um, I was fortunate enough to work with one of them. And uh, that's actually how Nucor got on my radar and, and how I got on theirs. And uh, it, it was it was just this very seamless transition. It was a culture piece that, that I had loved about the military was there. The values were, were very similar, um, very purpose-driven organization, very purpose-driven teammates. And uh, it just felt like a very, very natural fit for, for me. So what convinced me to join the new core team was I had listened to Zach talk about his experience from the very beginning here. I can't emphasize the word supportive more because he was essentially a single dad down here when he started with two kids. They supported him the whole way, gave him the time he needed, and just talked about the team here and how close-knit everyone is and everyone just works so well together and how successful the company is and the room for growth, everything about it. When I started my job, my first big girl post-army job, uh, that was something that I was kind of craving that I wasn't seeing where I was. Um, and so I left my first job and then a detailing position opened up here and Zach kind of pushed that in my direction and I just kind of dropped what I was doing and went for it and it was probably the best decision I could have made for my professional career incredible harmony amongst our team. I've shared my values from the day I took over as CEO up until now, and they're very simple. It's my faith, my family, and Nucor in that order. And when you recognize and care about others as much as you do yourself, when you value their careers and the things that they value, and don't ever ask them to put anything in front of that, you create an incredible loyalty that I've never seen anywhere outside the walls of Nucor. As I think about the individual members of our military that are looking for the civilian organizations like Nucor, the words on our back of our coin are not 
slogans. They're meaningful. They matter. They matter to each and every one of us. And so as I think about that transition for them, what are they going to be looking for? They're going to look for camaraderie. They're going to look for family. They're going to look for people that they can trust and build their future with their families and their children and their grandchildren. What an incredible opportunity they're going to have inside a new core because those are the very value sets that we hold incredibly dear. From friends and family, Katie and Zach highlight the importance of loving what you do and where you work. Next, we'll hear from a pair of veterans who teaches us that service to your country can last long after you leave the military. recognizes we care about them. We care about them very, very deeply. And it's not um, for the steel. It's because of who they are as individuals. And, and when you find an environment like that, it's contagious. And our team will defend that culture unlike anything I've ever experienced. I uh, transitioned out of the military in uh, August 2015. I found Nucor uh, through a junior military officer recruiting firm. Uh, they connected me with a number of different private companies uh, that I would interview at a conference. Of course, I was introduced to Nucor at the time. And then based on what I had known about Nucor and the values that, that Nucor uh, stood for, uh, it was clear to me that I wanted to work uh, with Nucor for my career. The good news is there, that program that I was actually hired into Nucor um, through, I'm now on the recruiting team on the other side of the table and, and helping uh, bring vets uh, into the company as well. So it's nice to be able to give back to my community. I work uh, in a rolling mill and, and with our shipping team. I would say primarily, you know, my job is to consider the challenges over the next six months, a year, two years, to make sure the team kind of has that seamless transition to meet the challenges of the future. You know, whether that's market related or, or technology, you know, related. The similarity uh, with Nucor to the military is that we have an incredibly competent group of operators and engineers and professional teammates who are the ones that actually execute day to day. No different than a soldier and non-commissioned officer, the ones that actually run, uh, you know, any unit in the army. So we're really trying to think about, you know, the future at the manager level to make sure we're supporting our team, serving our team so they can continue to be safe, continue to be successful and take care of their families. I think the thing that that, that makes Nucor very special is kind of an uh, unapologetic commitment to winning. The teamwork is ingrained into the very DNA of who we are. You know, we're all compensated uh, off the same end goal, which is you know, how successful we are as a team. Um, but it's not just the success of, of the business. Uh, safety is at the heart of everything we do, and uh, we know we're only successful if our, our team goes home safe, uh, just like they came to work, uh, because there's a family component too. The commitment Nucor has to our team is pure. You know, maybe when you're 22, it doesn't mean a lot when you see that Nucor's practice is to never lay somebody off, but once you, you know, get a little bit older, you have a family, you realize that, uh, that that's rare in private industry. Uh, so it's a very clear commitment that Nucor makes to, to support us, of course, because our overall goal is to make sure we can support our family. And that attracted me to, to Nucor. Nucor is the best opportunity for anybody leaving the military because the transition is almost seamless. It's still about sacrificing. It's still about building your team up. It's still about affecting the livelihood of people that live in this country, because if you think about it, steel is literally in every facet of our life. So it may not be defending our liberties and freedoms, but you still affect the quality of everyone's life that lives and breathes in the U.S. I'm responsible for the taking of scrap steel and recycled scrap steel, melting it into liquid steel, applying new chemical properties. And 
casting it into a solid semi-finished product billet to be used for rolling purposes for our customers and the products that they are buying. I thoroughly enjoyed my military service. It allowed me to explore, it allowed me to serve my country, and it also to just help folks, um, especially being in the United States Coast Guard, primary uh, rescues, search and rescue, and just helping save lives and making an impact on other people. What drew me to Nucor was the fact that it's an established company, very successful, has been around for many of years and it had set goals and set missions that I felt were very similar to what I did in the military. And so Nucor drew me by being very similar to my experiences in the past. Nucor is an awesome company to work for. The teamwork and the camaraderie, uh, the focus, I believe the priority of safety Teammates are our biggest asset, and without the right teammates and keeping your teammates safe, you can't make steel safely. And Nucor prides itself in leading the industry in safety, as well as taking the time to really care about its folks. Final thoughts when we return. Stay with us. Not unlike the military, who takes great care of their members, Nucor takes incredible pride in how we care for ours. So we have 31,000 team members. Every child of every Nucor team member receives a $4,000 a year scholarship to go to college. We reimburse our team members for their education. We reimburse team members' spouses for education. We provided this year and the last year, because there were two record years, extraordinary bonuses in October and December. We do profit sharing, and what is profit sharing? We take 10% of our pre-tax earnings and give it back to all of our team members below the vice president level. Well, that check alone was over $40,000 per team member last year. Our average wage and compensation last year was over $140,000. So we take great pride in how we care for our team, but more importantly, the smiles on our faces of our team members as you walk through our plants and divisions across this incredible nation and beyond will tell you very quickly just how strong the new core culture is. The 26 years in our company has been the greatest professional experience I, I've ever had in my life. Uh, the opportunity to be a part of something bigger than yourself uh, awaits those team members that are looking for something more challenging. It's shaping a future. It's shaping the, the opportunity for the next 50 years in Nucor to bring in the next CEO of Nucor that's going to be hired in next week, next month, next year. We provide an incredible platform for growth individually and collectively. And so I'm excited about our future. I'm excited about our recruitment and the things that we're gonna to do to continue to attract military veterans and those in, in different branches, as well as those on the outside that are yet to find new as a home. to see that after sacrificing so much for military service, today's veterans have found careers at Nucor and continue to shine. I'm Monta Williams. Thanks so much for joining us on this very special edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. We'll see you next time.